Hi guys and welcome to Total Technic. Today we're going to be taking a look at the inflating space saving spare tyre uh, as fitted in an increasing number of uh, Audi VW vehicles including the, uh, the Audi Q7, the Q5, the VW Touareg, uh, Porsche Cayenne. Uh, lots of these uh, vehicles are now using this type of tyre. So when you first look in your boot or your trunk and you see this thing, it's kind of hard to imagine how this works. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to take this out and we're going to do a full inflation and deflation on this so you can see exactly how it works, uh, which you might find quite interesting. And of course, if you do ever get stuck on the side of the road, it's always good to have that little bit of knowledge of how this thing's actually going to operate. So let's take a look. Okay, so your setup's probably quite similar to this. You've probably got the uh, the subwoofer uh, in the center right here. As you can see, we've got an electrical connection. We need to disconnect that, first of all, uh, before we can start to uh, remove this from the car. So simply pinch in the two little ears on the side and pull that forward. Next, uh, undo the spindle in the center and set that to one side. So next, if yours has got the, uh, the raised section on the back, just spin that around to the opposite way and then lift it up using the handles on the side and remove that from the car and set that safely to one side. So next we've got another one of these. Spin that off, again put that to one side. As you can see on these space savers, they have quite an unusual tread, very shallow. Of course this is only for emergency use and not a lot of grip on these at all. So it's not something you want to be running your car on for very long. If you kind of look in the, uh, in the gap there, you can kind of see the section. This is what's going to expand. So this whole thing will expand and these side walls will actually pop out uh, as, we, uh, as we get to the uh, uh, compression stage. So we'll look at that next. So next we need a method to put air into the tyre and uh, Audi here, uh, they give you this uh, compressor unit uh, that you can plug into the, uh, the cigarette lighter of your vehicle uh, as shown on stage 3 right there and use this to, uh, to pump up the tyre. Uh, we've got, uh, we don't want to open this, this is a, a factory one never been uh, used. Uh, we've got a very similar compressor, um, but it works in exactly the same way, so we'll use that uh, for the sake of uh, our example. Uh, but that's the piece of kit that you want to get out and get that opened up. So next we need to check uh, what pressure we are going to inflate the, uh, the spare tyre to. So if you look in your uh, inside your door jam just here, uh, you've got the spare uh, listed at the bottom at 51 uh, PSI, which you actually see is actually higher than uh, either the front or the wheel. So it's uh, quite a high pressure on the uh, on the spare. So you need to double check that, otherwise you won't know uh, what pressure you need to inflate to. So the process that we're going to use to show this to you will be exactly the same as uh, if you were broken down the side of the road. Obviously we've got uh, air compressors and all sorts of uh, funky stuff here. Uh, but we're not going to use that, we're going to use uh, uh, one of these little uh, plug-in uh, air compressors. It's very similar to what's already in the boot. Um, but like I said, I don't want to open the, that one, so I've got this one to hand. Uh, one thing to note on the uh, inflation valve here, it comes with a little uh, a cap, which is also the deinflation uh, tool. So obviously that's got to be removed. Keep that safe. Uh, you don't, don't want to lose that. And obviously this is where we're going to be uh, connecting uh, this compressor to. Now your next step, uh, before you start the, uh, the air compressor, obviously you need to start the engine of the car, so that's going to supply power uh, to your air compressor.
So we just watched that in fast forward mode. Uh, that took uh, around uh, 11 minutes or so using the, uh, the air compressor that we were using today. Uh, maybe a little bit slower, a little bit quicker, that'll give you some idea. Uh, so the spare tyre is now ready to be used and mounted to the vehicle uh, to get you to the tyre shop and get yourself sorted. Uh, do bear in mind, it tells you on the side what the maximum speeds are, 50 miles an hour or 80 kilometres an hour. And remember that you're not going to have a lot of grip on this tyre, especially in wet conditions or uh, snow and ice, uh, things of that nature, you have no grip whatsoever, so do take it steady. Uh, we'll show the deflation of this uh, this tyre as well, uh, how it all deflates, goes back together, uh, so you can be safely fitted back into the, uh, into the boot space. These are fully reusable. Uh, so we'll take a look at that in the next stage. So when you're finished and you're ready to deflate the tyre, take the little uh, valve cover, It's got like a little special uh, shaped end on it. What I'm going to do is put that inside the uh, the actual valve here. Uh, look inside the valve. It's got like a bar uh, that goes across the uh, the middle. Hopefully you guys can just about see that. What you do is you put this in, turn it a little bit so that it falls into place, like so, and then unscrew it, and that'll open up the uh, the valve. So here's a quick close up of how this uh, this little valve cap tool works. This is the other uh, valve and obviously this is normally inside uh, here. And if you look at it, it's got a, a kind of a flat bit that goes across the, uh, the center of it. So the tool goes in over the, uh, over the, um, the center pin and you twist it a little bit until the slot fits over the bar like so and then you just unscrew it and that allows you to, uh, to remove that from the tire to allow it to deflate. And as per the manual, uh, you will leave your spare tire for a good couple of hours to allow all of the air to escape. So to reset the valve, remember the little flat bar bit is at the top. Place that in there like so. Now you can just get your tool again and just screw it all the way back down inside. Like so, so your valve's now back inside, and you put that back on there for safekeeping. And that's job done.